Hello, and welcome back to Jump Dot Shoot, the only show on the internet with more, um... Whoopsie-daisies and uh-ohs. Talking about whoopsie-daisies, what do you call a, a competition when a cat wins a trophy for best drops? I uh, do not know. A cat ass trophy. And uh, oh wow, this um, Kenny Kenny is has since been fired. Zapped all my inspiration to do an episode. Yeah, I, I, I just like I don't even know what I'm doing I with my life right now. I need to go take a nap. I need at least. I'm just gonna go Advil play right in right WoW right now because I just can't even deal with that. I just I feel like I need to take a shower and get this grime off me. Yeah, I mean I already it showered once today, but sticky. I feel dirty. Golly, gee, I just really feel so damn dirty. It's it's God. God, and it smells, man. It's got like a weird like what. Fart stench. Good now. thing you get, you can't yeah, like pure use... sulfur. No, god fucking shit balls. Like the joke version of Satan's taint. Uh, you know he might know something about that because he did play Dante's Inferno. Yeah, that game was an awesome game. It was, it was, it was good, but man, the learning curve on it was fucking harsh. I don't know. It really lulls you in false sense of security and. Well, you no, know, when you're in a situation, you feel like you're doing amazing, and then hell just kind of switches the difficulty by like two notches too far. Can't use it. What are you trying to do, Sam? I don't know. Stay. There we go. Okay. I got lost in the menus. Oh shoot. Yeah. Um, that happened to me the other day. I was playing Bioshock with Kenny, and I kept losing my cursor on the screen. Which is kind of a mildly terrifying situation because just when we're recording, we have this like constant pressure to be a little bit more perfect at gameplay than normal, um, and it never happens. Never. No, I, 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 I try to ignore that pressure, I, and I know that I'm gonna screw up just because it's just the nature of it. Hence why I'm not sad. I've already lost like two characters in this. Fuck! No, Uncle Gort's gonna die, and I didn't get to kill that healer. And just like the real Uncle Gort. Gort! He died in cosplay next to somebody he was yelling was a goblin priest, dark priest. One mage. damage! One damage! My, the semi truck does one damage. Fuck this game, man. What is about this game that you find appealing? I just really like strategy games in general. The They make me, like, put in a shit ton of brain work while playing them. Um, because I have to plan everything out. This one more than most because it's... It may not be my character's turn next. And I don't control the order my characters go in. I could regret this later, but... I need to do it. You just need to clear out the, uh, clear out the playing field. Oh, God fucking sh Wow. That old I, bag of shit. I'm firing myself. That old dilapidated piece of crap. Right, dilapidated. Dila I don't know if dilapidated. dilapidated. I don't think dilapidated is the right word there. Nah, it, it seems like a word though. It is a word, but right. I don't think that's the right word. There it goes. Well, magic always hits. Like, that's that's why you always keep at least two mages in your party. It's always gonna hit. Go to this dark priest. Yes, I know I just stacked my units, so hope to God I get a different unit of mine to kill that dude before he gets the cast. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna get my main character dead. We'll find out. Need to kill this dude with that dude, and then another dude needs to come in. Fuck! Like clean house. What's what's wrong? Oh god. Double fuck! What's wrong? Sam! Shit, remember that the other day? What? Oh yeah! <laughs> I I was I um I was so high. So very, very high. It was almost impressive. Um, Sam, well, you were you were just playing a game, right? Yeah. You were just like playing on your DS. At one point, you go, "Damn it!" And I, and I go with the sincerity of a thousand priests. What's wrong? It was it was rather impressive. I can't. I don't think I've ever heard Andy be so genuine about asking me what's wrong, ever in his in our you know in a, the entirety a, of our friendship. And I do care about you. I love the <laughs> shit out of you. Yeah, it just. But this was the most sincere I've ever seen you in your life. 
This was like, oh my god, who died? What's wrong? What can I do to help you, Sam, my very good friend, my my friendship soulmate person? What can? What's wrong? Tell friendship me. soulmate person. person. Okay. It's guy love. It's, a, it's all it is. Yeah. There's nothing gay about it. In our eyes. I couldn't. I couldn't go any farther with that. I'm sorry. I like scrubs too. I like scrubs. Oh, I love Scrubs. Yeah. It is a great show. I just I couldn't keep a straight face while trying to poorly sing that song. Son of a bitch! Live with... Why do they keep living with one health? These fucking dark priests, man. They have an insane health care policy. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna get hit, but it won't kill you. You might want to be dead, but like, what else is new? And everyone's like, yeah, well, what else is new? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. You can do it, Henri. Henri yeah, good wizard. job, Henri. Nice. No? Right. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Oh no, Chris is out of mana. She's effectively only good at doing one damage now. Alright, bird person sweeps in. No shit, this is Hawkman. No, this is Balboroy. Yeah, it's Balboroy. The other one's Amon. You are still not a good amount of health. I'm gonna wait. Who dat? That would... Who Who? what now? That one. This is Luke? Luke. He's just kind of there. Luke's pretty cool. He's just kind of a guy that's there. He does damage now and again. So tired of being sick. Yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, not great. I mean, not terrible, but not great. I mean, you're... You're going into surgery soon? Uh, tomorrow something? I get to get, have an endoscopy to see if, uh... You know, I have, like, some kind of like ulcer or some shit in my stomach i mean yeah it sounds terrible like yeah. it gets to the point where you like you laugh too hard you like you know get you rival in a little bit of pain yeah yeah, yeah. stuff which, like that which sucks because like part of our friendship is me trying to make you laugh right i get an amazing amount of joy and pleasure whenever i make out of you or kenny laugh exactly i mean so i it just it hurts me more than it hurts you yeah i'm so sorry it's terrible in like raid when I'm in the middle of doing something like really important playing feral druid and I burp and I just start writhing in pain so all the other people here on the other side of the microphone is <laughs> oh! yeah that's actually happened once <laughs> I was in so much pain all right you only have one health I'm gonna hope one of my oh healers God. goes before uh, he I can't stop okay okay I'm gonna regret this decision of leaving him alive. I gotta stop trying to make myself burp. It never ends well. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know why you keep doing this. You're Son of a bitch! I knew it was a mistake, but I did it anyway. He literally uh, ran away like a bitch and then healed himself. Never gonna, you can't trust those shifty dark priests. That punk ass bitch. Sam. Yes. Would you rather be a punk ass bitch or a bitch ass punk? You have to choose one. I think I want to go with a bitch-ass punk? Yeah. See, I was thinking that too. Punk-ass bitch sounds painful. It sounds like some certain amount of discomfort is going to be inflicted upon you. But being a bitch-ass punk, at least it ends on the positive note of being a punk. Exactly. Something I kind of like always more or less wanted to be but never aspired to be. Right. Oh, growing up in the 90s, there was nothing cooler than being a punk. Like somebody who had like giant liberty spikes or played a guitar. That's all it took. Yeah, really. It was it was it was very easy society to be a part of, and yet we weren't part of said society. Yeah, being like babies and toddlers and such. Yeah. I mean, we were just watching um, fucking Big Bad Beetleborgs the other day. Oh, Did not that, the other day. Like yeah, what? I was gonna, I was gonna four say that was, that was a couple months ago. Well, there was a, a greater shining example of the '90s and Big Bad Beetleborgs. Mainly for the simple fact that the budget was super low and shitty. That kind of exemplified how kind of low budget and shitty the 90s were. <laughs> yeah, just, just a period in, our, in, in American history where everything was really low budget. And in certain aspects, it was kind of cool because that's kind of what gave us grudge music. Grunge music? Grudge music? No. Gr grudge music, I mean, though. The fact that it was so dirty and authentic and it kind of had that punk rock vibe to it. Yep. But, um... 
Yeah, television shows back then had like a budget. Yeah! Go, Balboroy! Fuck! Television in the 90s had like a budget of $20 and like a pack of gum. <laughs> and yet they made it work and we loved it, damn it. I can watch Seinfeld at a drop of a hat anytime. Right? Friends, Seinfeld, Everybody Loves Raymond, Simpsons, of course, King of the Hill, Malcolm in the Middle. Fucking love Malcolm in the Middle. Right? Actually, I, I've never really gotten into Malcolm in the Middle. I've tried a couple times, and it just it never really stuck with me. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's not, like, my favorite thing either. I, I always feel bad about those kind of shows. There are shows that I can recognize are popular that I respect to a certain extent, but I cannot get into. Right. And, like, a lot of these are anime are anime shows that I know are good, and they're kind of shows I know if I just stick with them for a little bit longer, I'll get more more progressively obsessed with. Mm hmm I can't make it past episode four. So what, what would be an example of one of these shows? Uh, probably Death Note and Attack on Titan are two of the bigger names that I know have critical acclaim and I just cannot get past or I just can't will myself or muster up enough like interest to power through more episodes. All right. Well, contrary to popular belief, Death Note's not that great. Like it was good up until like three quarters of the way through and then it shot itself in the foot and it was no longer good. Like it just, they, they, they lost what made it good intellectually speaking. Like the whole. Well, intellectually speaking, it's always been like a chess match. Yeah. It's just like the one of the. It, I wouldn't call it an action anime because there's not really any fighting. People die, but that's not really action. That's just a shit that happens because of words in a book. Um, but this was all psychological. This was how was this teenager going to outwit these uh, Secret Service agent people? Holy shit, that guy's cool. Right? Right. <laughs> well, it, wait, do you know how the anime ends? No, no clue. Okay. And it's like, uh, I know you and Kenny have, and, and my girlfriend Katrina, <laughs> she's right next to us listening to us. Um, you've, you've spat out like this minor spoiler, and you've even said spoiler. And just as the way the, the show was going, I already kind of knew that that was going to play out. Oh, fuck! Balboroy, no! And if that was like a big plot twist or a big uh, turning point in the story, it, it was just disappointing then. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what it is. God forbid I spoil it for somebody else, but... Eh. Attack on Titan just got repetitive. Well, it, it, it really didn't have great character development. It was it just kind of like everybody yelling out their character traits and into the air and... And that was their character. Yeah, I think that was uh, one of the first animes that I watched thoroughly in Japanese because it was on Netflix for a short time, like all in Japanese. Still Probably is. still is. Yeah, right? I was going to say, it's still, it's still... Okay. It, it was like a year and a half ago I was watching it. Um, I feel like it was a year and a half ago. I was still living out in Hood River. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was difficult because it was Japanese, but it was easy because like literally every other scene was a character repeating who they were and what their main motivation for hating the uh, the Titans were. Pretty much. And God damn it, they have more money than I'll ever have. Is that how it always goes? Yep. Yeah. Oh God, no. Hey. You can live me. Live. Yeah, yeah. I live. That is scary as dicks. Oh God, live me! No, no. Live me! I don't want to have to replay this chapter. Mm, no. I oh. live! Oh! Fuck! Okay, can you please like get get the get the fuck out of there? Please? That's the plan. Yeah, if it'll let me go. If, if you could do, if you if you would, that'd be awesome. Just toying with our emotions right now. Get the fuck oh, out! All right, everybody can uh, just relax your buttholes for a second. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all good. Thank God he's healing himself. It's the great, great thing about Dark Priest is you can get them to heal themselves rather than their allies if they take any amount of damage. Oh, okay, so that's kind of like a failsafe. Yep. Of sorts. Right on. Light them on fire. I like the strategy. Suck uh, fireball, bitches! Is that lizard guy more susceptible to the cold? I don't know. Maybe. All I know is massive area damage. Yeah, on re. 
Fuck, she's getting like three levels this uh, this level. Henri's a girl? Yes. Oh. I think I knew that. Fuck! Well, I guess we have to continue this next time on Jump Dot Shoot. You can attack. I'll let you attack. You want to wreck shit? Just wreck a little bit of shit. See, it felt good, right? It did feel good. Yeah, we'll end it on a good, good feeling note. See you guys tomorrow.